inserting and formatting a shape. One method of getting the audience's attention and reinforcing the major concepts being presented is to have graphical elements on the slide. PowerPoint provides a wide variety of predefined shapes that can add visual interest to a slide. Shape elements include lines, basic geometrical shapes, arrows, equation shapes, flowchart symbols, stars, banners, and callouts. To add a shape. Many of the shapes included in the shapes gallery can direct the viewer to important aspects of the presentation. Display slide three. And then if necessary, click your Home tab. Click the Shapes More button to display the Shapes Gallery. So you would click right here. If for some reason you don't have that More button, maybe yours looks like this. It's just due to screen resolution. Either of those will work. Click the oval shape in the basic shapes area of the shapes gallery. Click slide three to insert the oval shape. To resize a shape, press and hold down the shift key and then drag the upper left corner sizing handle until the shape is resized. Try to get the top aligned with the horizontal, horizontal smart guide. There it was. Release to resize the shape. Drag the shape until the vertical smart guide is displayed in the middle of the oval and the horizontal smart guide is displayed at the top of the oval. To add other shapes. Ovals, squares, arrows, stars, and equation shapes are among the items included in the shapes gallery. These shapes can be combined to show relationship among the elements and they can help illustrate the basic concepts presented in your slideshow. Again, click the Shapes More button. Click the curved left arrow shape in the block arrows. Position the pointer to the right of the oval shape in slide 3 and then click to insert the curved left arrow shape. Press and hold down your shift key and drag a corner sizing handle until the arrow shape is close to the circle shape. Display the shapes gallery and then click the rectangular pentagon shape. Again, click in slide three and then resize so that yours looks similar to mine. Notice I have both the vertical and the horizontal smart guide down the center of my pentagon. Display your home tab. Click the oval to select it. And then select your quick styles button. Point to light one. Outline, Colored Fill, Black Dark 1.
You will later add text to the oval and pentagon. Next, select your arrow. Again, in your quick styles, you're going to select colored outline, black, dark one style. And then in your pentagon, you're going to select subtle effect, black, dark one. Now we'll add text to our shape. With the pentagon selected, type offensive moves. Click the oval to select it, and then type ball handling skills. With the oval selected, triple click the text to select all the characters. Click the font arrow to display the font gallery. Find Century Schoolbook. With the oval text selected, click the increase font size until you get to 24 point. Turn it bold and change the color to orange. Under standard colors, it should be the third color in. Doesn't look very orange, but it is. Format Painter. To save time and avoid formatting errors, you can use the Format Painter to apply custom formatting to other places in your presentation quickly and easily. With the oval text still selected, double click the Format Painter button. Move the pointer off the ribbon. You'll see now that it's a little paintbrush. Triple click the Pentagon text to apply the the format to all characters. Click the Format Painter button or press the Escape key to turn off the Format Painter feature. Because my Pentagon is a little bit small, I'm going to go ahead and resize that. With the pentagon shape selected, click the copy button. Click the paste button to insert a duplicate regular pentagon shape on slide three. Drag the new pentagon shape to the left of the original pentagon shape. In the left pentagon shape, select the text, Offensive Moves, and then type Defensive Mindset. Select the arrow shape, and then click the Copy button. Click the Paste button. two times, drag one of the duplicate arrow shapes between the two pentagon shapes and the other to the left of the oval shape. We'll do some rotations here.
there we are.